Hello and welcome back to another Ding Dong Diddly Day of the Tentacle. I'm Chris. And I'm Ding Dong Mudit. And <laughs> apparently. And we are in, I don't know, episode 9 or something now anyway. It doesn't matter. I had a thought. No. I did. Really? I, I absolutely did. Oh uh, rare, a rare occurrence. We were up on the roof up here and trying to get Dr. Fred out of the attic at one point, right? Yeah. I think I may have another uh, approach to that. Yeah, bring it on. Because we couldn't do anything with this rope and no. and stuff. I think if we... I just it, it occurred to me a few days ago and I thought I'd what try it. Oh, I can't... Oh, I thought maybe I could no, not right now. pick that before. back up and go back in the window hmm. and tie it to him and then put it out of the window and put it on the pulley. But that didn't work at all, apparently. Maybe we broke the game? Uh, no, 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 no. No <laughs> way did we break the game. Ooh. Oh. Oh, really? Oh. Hmm. Wow, Helms. You know it's an old game when it's uh, making reference to Jesse Helms. Mm -hmm. Oh, right, okay, so the oh. rope is here. So this is the other thing I wanted oh. to check out. Right, so I think we here. We tie it to him, maybe? Yeah, I think we got a, I think we got a plan here. That might be it. You know, we need some counterweight before we can tie it to the good old doctor. Yeah, here we go. Stand there and look nice. He looks like a tall, mummified Dr. Fred. Alright, we can't do anything else with the thing now. So, alright, let's go back, back up to the roof and yeah. see now what we can do with the thing. That should work, I think. Maybe. Let's see. So, yeah, I think that this has got to be our... I think this is the next thing we've got to try and solve. Yeah. Because uh, I think we should be able to do it. Let's see. So, what happens if we pull that rope now? Yeah. Uh, Yay! All right, now we've got to do with by, by the looks of it, we've got to do a substitution, I guess. So if we go back up to the roof and let's see what's going on in the room now. Dr. Fred is still where he was. He is. Can we... Uh, He's still got company now, though. Yeah, least. can we switch them? Um, I think we're going to have to oh, paint him red. Yeah, we have paint. We do. I'm not sure who has it. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Okay, maybe we need to paint him first. Who's this guy? Hang on. Relative. Well, I'm sure we can order him next. This isn't a party. Okay, so we've got to do something here that will, I don't know, get him out the window without being detected. Yeah. So, we... Hoagie's got some red paint because yeah. we used it for the cherry tree. So let's send that to Bernard. Yeah. And let's see. Let's paint uh, Ted. I don't know how that uh, open can of paint uh, survived the trip through the toilet, but apparently it did. Mm, All not right. To know. Now, what happens if we do this? something. Everything okay in there? Hmm. <laughs> well, try and keep it down, okay? <laughs> hey, nice. I think we may have got away with that. Yeah. Alright, now what do we do with Dr. Fred? Can we pick him up? I can't carry him. Can we pull him? That didn't do much. No. Grab Can we talk to him? Dr. Fred. Oh yeah, grab the rope. Must still be asleep. Good point. There is nothing attached to it. Can you use it or something, I guess? There we go. Excellent. Excellent plan. We're really getting somewhere now. Yeah. I think we may be about to rescue him. See. And then we can get the signature. That's what we're doing this for, right? We're doing yeah. it to get the signature on the contract. And then we need to mm -hmm. find some way to post it in the past. Yes. But let's see. Rope. Pull. Yeah. 
Nah, I'm not gonna make that mistake again. <laughs> okay. Um. Can we sit with He's something? He's doing the thing. He's doing the thing. Oh. Okay. Oops. <laughs> Oh, nice and gentle. There we go. <laughs> Oof. Dr. Fred, are you okay? Dr. Fred? I'd better get him to the lab. No, how do you well, even do that? Well, I got him in here, but he's out cold. Mm. I think we need to uh, revive him. Okay, okay, let's see. We do have a funnel He's still, still asleep. We have a funnel I and coffee. Yeah. Much of a conversationalist we do. Right now. Um, yes. there's the funnel. Yep. And let's give him some... Well, we got decaf, oh, but I think we want to give him... the real deal. Yeah, we want to give him some recaf. <laughs> God, that's boiling hot still. That's impressive. That reminds me of Popeye. Hmm. Damn good coffee! Hi, Dr. Fred. We just got you out of the clutches of the IRS. Hmm. <laughs> don't thank us. I got the contract for you to sign, Doctor. Sorry, I don't like to sign things that I haven't read. Okay, so I'll read okay, it first. So read it first. I'm busy trying to think of a way to save humanity. Oh come on, Doctor Fred. I don't no. have time to read. Now leave me alone. Will you please sign this contract? I don't sign things I haven't read. But the whole human race is at risk. Of course, that's why I'm busy trying to think of a way to save it. I don't have time to read. We've gone away. Now leave me alone. <laughs> Will you please sign this contract? I don't sign things I haven't read. Sign it or I'll get real mad. And do what? Not be my friend anymore? Ha ha ha. Will you please sign this contract? I don't sign things I haven't read. Oh, forget it. I'll get rid of Purple Tentacle myself. Oh, yeah? How? <laughs> starting a petition. Hmm. I'm starting up a petition to ban all tentacles. Wow! Where do I sign? <laughs> right here. Sneaky. <laughs> well, good luck. Thanks, Dr. Fred. Dr. Fred, what do we do now? We have to buy a diamond and plug it into the chronogen. So, we now have... Can we do anything with a hamster and a generator, by the way? Uh, not yet. No, the party of the curious. first part shall hereby be known as... A crazed, maniacal genius. So we have that that uh, that thing. How do we post it? Uh, now, it's in the past, we've got this, yeah. Well, we can, but we. How do we set, get it sent? And there's something else we have to do yet. Mm. And that is get an old stamp. And I know someone who has some old stamps. Uh oh, we're not gonna mess with that guy, are we? Uh, maybe we will, just for the hell of it. But it's for a good cause. Yeah. Yeah, it's funny. You mean? Hey, can I have a stamp, please? Hey, don't touch my stamps. Pony Express stamps? Yes, not the most valuable kind, but they have a lot of sentimental value to me. Well, hope I didn't get you too excited. Bye. Peace be with Peace you. Peace be with you. <laughs> Ah, uh, what do we have that we can uh, deface a stamp collection with? Disappearing ink. Oh, uh, yeah. Hey, wanna see a neat trick? Sure. Neat, huh? <laughs> uh... <laughs> My Pony Express stamps. 
You'll ruin my Pony Express stamps, not to mention five years of therapy. Get out of my room! Jeez, what a grump. He should really try to find some outlet for those... <laughs> ...negative feelings. We have... Hmm, a 1778 Pony Express General Delivery Stamp. Not too valuable, but it is uncancelled. <laughs> Stamp. And letter, I wonder. There we go. Do we oh. need to steal oh, that too? It looks like all the inks disappeared now. Well, maybe we should give it back to him just out of charity. Mm -hmm. Get out of here. It feels like so, so, so unpleasant to mess with a guy with... Clear mental issues. Hey, you oh, wow. fixed it. I you just I fixed him like that. Now. Sometimes I do stupid stuff and I don't even know why. As if my body were being controlled by some demented, sadistic puppet master. How do well, they know? <laughs> we all feel that way sometimes. That's okay. Hey, don't touch my stamps. Well, I guess we've done with Weird Ed. Well, hope I didn't get you too excited. Bye! Peace be with you. So, if we now send that signed and stamped contract to Hoagie, mm -hmm. he can go and put it in the mailbox. Yeah. Mailboxes in America are weird. Yeah, no kidding. And I don't 100% get how they work, but it seems like you can post any letter in it like your own mailbox. But how does the mailman know it's not a letter he already put in there? Because that's what the flag is for, oh. apparently, I think. I thought that was just a signal you have mail. No, it's a signal that the postman needs to pick up some mail. Oh, okay. I think. Yes, what do you want? Hi there, is this Dr. Fred Edison? It's just so, kind of weird. Yeah. Who did you think you called? Dr. Spock? Look, I don't have all day. This is Farley Crock at LucasArts Games. I just discovered your contract among some very old files, and, well, our lawyers say that we, uh, have to pay you two million dollars in back royalties. Hey. Uh, for the use of your family in the Maniac Mansion video game. What? This is Farley Crock. No, I heard that, you moron! When do I get my money? Oh, right now. It's been credited to your Swiss bank account. Operator! Get me a travel agent! This is an emergency! No, you can't spend the money. <laughs> we gotta spend the money. Bernard has that Swiss bank book. He does, the thieving scoundrel. Wow, Dr. Fred's rich! Time to... mail order a diamond. Uh, we could do it in here. There was a phone, wasn't there? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Couch Potato Shopping Channel, Wanda speaking. Um, uh, I want to buy a diamond. That will be two million dollars. Do you have a major credit card? Um, I have a numbered Swiss bank account. What's the number, sir? Um, it's 846-427-35327. Very good, sir. We'll send the diamond by Pronto Post Lightspeed Delivery immediately. Thank you for calling. Now that's service. <laughs> A diamond just left there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I better get this to Dr. Fred right away. Even Amazon Prime don't do it that fast. <laughs> that should do it! Where did you get this diamond anyway? Uh... It was donated by a group of Girl Scouts who were in the neighborhood. How heartwarming! Can we bring back my friends now? We've repaired the primary device, but before we can do anything, both time pods must be energized as well. Then we can bring back uh, what's his name and who's her face. Hoagie and Laverne. Yes. Fine specimens.
So there we go, that is one third of the game. Wow. Well, sort of. We've got the present day all sorted now. We just have to get the other two uh, chronodrons plugged in. Yes. Now, last episode we left chuckle, off chuckle. sort of halfway up um, the mansion here, so we probably have a little more to explore here in the future. I think so. Let's take a look. I wonder how it can float in midair like that. Door. Right, okay, so we did the... Well, let's go further up. One of the biggest things we have to try and figure out how to do here is to get in the secret lab. I think we're going to need to do that. And there's that guy standing guard outside it. Yes. We need to distract him or something. Yeah, he said he's very highly restricted judging area. I guess this is where the human show is going to take place. Mm. Let's see. Ooh. Two at Club Tentacle. Dang, it says tentacles only. I can't, it's behind the glass. Do we have any? Oh, no. We can't cut glass, can we? No, we can't. I think that's the prize. I think we may need to may, may need to win uh, the human show with our, uh, our friend, uh, Dead Cousin Ted. Ah. Which means. Um, he we need to win more. the various judging categories. Yeah, he needed some more work, didn't he? I hear he do. does. Well, first of all, he needs a name tag. Yes. So let's do that. Spirit. Everyone's raring to go. No. No, not yet. Uh, what? Okay, let's see how it plays out. Uh. Ah, here it comes. My finest hour. What about the drooling guy? I can't imagine he's gonna win a lot of categories. No, he likes hair. And what was the other thing he needed? Hair, sm uh, smile, smile, and a laugh. Yeah. Well, maybe we can work on him. And so I said to her, that's not my suction cup. <laughs> you think that's funny? Listen to this. They seem to be deliberating very <laughs> intensely. So yeah, best hair, best smile, best laugh. So I guess we've got to tool our mummy up to win each of those categories. I think so. Hey, anybody or care for a bride? What do you think we are, human? Ha ha ha! Human. Ha ha ha! Hey, when are you guys going to judge best hair? Oh, all right. No, oh, not yet. Oh, okay, so we can stop. Well, they probably will do it again. Yeah, let's uh, let's see how it plays out. As usual, no one competes with Harold. Agree. So, Harold is is pretty much going to be uh, going to dominate. Well, at least that category. Let's see the rest. Hey, when are you guys going to judge best smile? It looks as though we can ask them to do it again, so... Good. Yow, <laughs> <laughs> that Harold sure knows how to bear them beauties. I could see my reflection in one of his incisors. First place. You've got reflective teeth. You know, there may be something wrong. Hey, when maybe. Are you guys going to judge best left. <laughs> oh, all right. Okay, who's got a joke? Hey, I just flew in from Baltimore, and boy, are my suction cups tired. <laughs> a classic. <laughs> Harold by a mile. Now there's a sense of humor. Agree. Okay, so we either have to sabotage Harold or uh, hmm. pimp or mummy. Or both. If he can be a doctor, then <laughs> I'll have no trouble. Doctor! What is it? Is someone sick? 
We can't have sick humans in the show. Well, uh... <laughs> I've just had an idea. Oh, okay. Perfectly healthy looking to me, Hopefully. except for the dead one. Now leave me alone. Oh. I think... We can sabotage him. Exactly like oh, you said. Oh, right. Guess what we Bernard do has. Stuff, don't we? Oh, nasty. Hello, fake bath. <laughs> Let's get that winner out of the show. We don't need to compete with him. Oh, Harold, that's gross. What are you babbling about? You really should have told the judges if you weren't feeling well. Oh, ick. Now, how did that mess get in there? I think I'm going to be sick. Someone in here not feeling well? I was feeling fine until I saw that. Is that your regurgitation? No, I'm an healthy human. Didn't you just say you thought you were going to be sick? That's just a figure of speech. Do you realize you could have infected the whole show with human influenza? But I just got all my shots. You're a good-looking human, Harold, but you know the rules. You're out of the show. Yes. <laughs> We can't keep mess. the wig. <laughs> I hate cleaning up after humans. <laughs> okay, one down and three to go. So what happens if we... Yeah. Well, what happens if we um, ask them to rejudge a category now? Let's see. Because I can't imagine our mummy is yet ready to win them. I don't think so. Hey, don't you think you should judge best hair again? Oh, all right. Let's give it to the blonde. Hmm. What's your reasoning? She winked at me. Good enough. Hmm. Yeah, it looks like we have to take him all out, huh? I don't know. I think we maybe just have to improve our hair, smile, and laugh. Hey, don't you yeah. think you should judge best smile again? Oh, all right. I mean, we've eliminated the the clear front runner, our major competition. Mm -hmm. Now we just have to be in good enough to beat those people. Uh, maybe not we need to steal the horse's teeth. Mm. If Harold's not I think supposed to be nice. I don't care who wins. Eh, me either. We can try that. Yeah, it seems you know they looked good and all. So. Well, he was. Uh, let's see. He was in the past. Yes. Yeah, how do we get our well, we hands? have fake teeth, so we maybe do we have can chattering. swap if oh. we can get him to take him out. Maybe we should add a rule that you can't dump sludge into the water supply. What manner of fool would do that in the first place? You're right. Hmm. Um, right, so yeah, um, we, who has the teeth? Bernard, right? I think so. Let's take those chompers, give them to Hoagie. Anything else? No. Well, let's, go, let's yeah. just try that switch. I guess we need to make the horse take his teeth out and then swap them somehow. He said he took them out when he slept. Yeah, so put him asleep? How, do How we... can we put him asleep? Mm, smack him with a hammer? No. Oh, Bernard's got a, Bernard's got a very dry textbook. Oh, we yes. can try that. That could work. Yeah. Uh -huh. The LALR compiler is constructed by the following method. First, develop a rigorous elective grammar. If the elements have NP completeness, the crunchy factor can be ignored. Blah, 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 blah. Whoa. Hey, we didn't even need to do a switch. Hmm. Yoo-hoo! 
he's out. Okay, so dentures, go to Laverne. Dentures, with mummy. Yeah. That's a smile, yay. Oh, that is a wow. winning smile. Oh yeah. We can do this. Hey, don't you think you should judge best smile again? Oh, all right. Come on. They're a bit... No, we need to I whiten like them. quiet one with the big mm -hmm. teeth. There's nothing in the rules about them being white. First place goes to the mummy. Oh, yeah. Okay, we don't have to Agreed. whiten them. But we do have some whitening, I think. Do we? Yeah, I think we do. I guess that's used for something else. Hmm. Yay, we just won a category. Cool. Alright, that seems like a good place to wrap up for the episode. We'll pick up from where we left off in the next one. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time for another episode of Day of the Tentacle. Bye. Toodaloo.